This is Alex Bainbridge for Green Left. I've just spoken with Sue Bolton, Social Alliance Councillor on the Merribeck uh, City Council. Uh, she and uh, independent socialist Monica Hart co-organised a rally last night uh, in, in Melbourne's northern suburbs to show solidarity with the people of Palestine. We decided to organise a, a community solidarity event with Palestine uh, after receiving an email from a local resident. And we end up deciding not just to restrict it to Mirabek, but to make it a northern suburb speak up for Palestine uh, because there's a strong connection between people in the northern suburbs of Mirabek to people who live further north in other council areas. And we got a really strong response from local community groups, both people um, in the Muslim community, people in Pakistani and Bangladeshi and South Asian, um, South Asian community in general, people from Middle Eastern communities, Palestinians, um, but also other people as well, Kurds and others who came uh, and supported our protest. And also a lot of volunteers um, for the running of the event um, joined us as well. We had around a thousand who uh, participated at some point in the two-hour protest, and we deliberate, but we did deliberately stage the action at that time so that we lined Sydney Road and Bell Street with placards saying, "To to support Palestine, to to support Gaza, to to stop the killings in Gaza," signs like that, and we got a huge response from passers-by, like passing motorists, because it's peak hour. And like judging by the number of toots of support, the people of uh, in the north are with Palestine and not with the Australian government's uh, rotten, rotten position of being complicit with genocide. Why is it important that people in Australia protest what the Israeli government is doing right now? Well, it's absolutely critical, especially as governments all around the world are standing with Israel despite the fact that Israel has clearly indicated with its uh, comments um, by various ministers, official figures and um, military personnel that it is intended on not just a war against Gaza, but a genocide against people in Gaza, while also still conducting a war in the West Bank against Palestinians there as well. One of the things is that um, the, the Israeli officials and politicians are trying to dehumanise um, Palestinians in Gaza by saying they're just like an human animals, um, as if their lives aren't worth preserving. Uh, then there's also an attempt to claim that um, uh, you know, Palis uh, Palestinian civilians uh, just human shields for Hamas, as a part of which sort of, in a sense, justifies the Israeli military for bombing civilians um, in their homes or, or wherever they are. Then uh, the fact that the government, uh, the Israeli government, ordered Palestinian, Palestinians in the north of Gaza to desert and go to the south of Gaza, like which is a total inhumane catastrophe. Um, you know, trying to move elderly people who might not be able to walk, um, people who are linked to incubators, people who are on dialysis, like people who are receiving hospital treatment, getting um, receiving operations in hospital. It's an impossible task. But many people also, when they did try to flee south, then got bombed on one of the remaining roads that's accessible. Um, and so they turned back to go to northern Gaza. But the fact that they haven't been vacated, haven't vacated northern Gaza to go to southern Gaza, which is also, you know, like has been bombed, like everywhere has been bombed, um, the, that means that the, it gives the Israeli government uh, and Israeli military a licence to just kill, you know, civilians. It's just disgusting. And then the so-called um, humanitarian uh, supply that's been negotiated by, um, by Biden, it's just pathetic. Um, 20 trucks. They need, at the very least, the UN needs 100 trucks a day, uh, not 20-odd trucks. But there should be an immediate lifting of the siege. And it's absolute 
bullshit that governments around the world are saying, oh, yes, we hope you don't, you know, there's no real um, harming of civilians, when actually the sea, uh, but refusing to call for list, lifting of the siege because the removal of or prevention of food, medicine and water getting into Gaza is, that is destruction of civilians in Gaza by its very by its very nature and saying that only the UN can distribute fo food but they're going to try and stop food getting to Hamas. Well, Hamas is the government in Gaza. They're the political party that's running the government. That means that they're not allowing Gazan governmental structures to distribute food, water and medicine. And surely it shouldn't be uh, they need to recognise the existing governmental structures in Gaza. I mean, I've got, I don't politically, I don't politically support Hamas. I'm a socialist. I've got different politics, but they actually are the government of of Gaza, <laughs> and the governmental structures should be recognised. And what would you say about the role of the Australian government in all of this? The Australian government has been absolutely appalling totally appalling saying oh well we want to you know don't want civilians harmed meanwhile they don't have the guts to call for an immediate lifting of the siege if they were serious about saving civilians and not harming civilians they would at the very least call for an immediate lifting of the siege and and allowing unfettered amount of water, electricity, med medical aid, construction materials to do repairs into Gaza. And they would immediately call, call for an immediate cessation of all the bombing of Gaza and the re reconstruction of Gaza. Of course, even if all of that was met, there's still the question of the occupation. But if the ALP federal government was serious, they would be demanding an immediate lifting of the siege. And the Australian government has been absolutely appalling. And a lot of areas where there's a big um, Arabic voting population, a lot of people would have voted for the ALP. And of course, the ALP is a tiny bit better than the coalition. But I would say on this question of Palestine, the, the ALP is probably no different to the coalition. They've probably got an equals position of basically being lock, stock and uh, a full step in behind Israel and the United States. You know, the refusal of the world's media, the refusal of most of the governments in the world to recognise what's happening to Palestinians day in, day out um, is like you know, that, that is really disturbing because Palestinians have been victims of, um, you know, really gruesome civilian attacks. And of course, no one likes seeing any attacks on civilians anywhere of any group whatsoever. But it was, you know, what happened in Israel is a product of the long running occupation and pent up frustrations. And there is some evidence that it may not have even been Hamas. It might have been some other fighter units that uh, entered Israel when Hamas broke through the blockade and um, other, others, um, you know, others sort of did the killing of civilians in Israel. So it might not even have been Hamas um, is some information I'm you know, it's not ver I've not verified, but some information I've received that indicate it might not have been Hamas, it might have been others responsible. But still, there hasn't been an equal, um, equal condemnation for the Palestinian civilians who are killed. And right now, doctors in Gaza are operating on people without anaesthetic. Like, that's just shocking. Like, Diseases are breaking out because there's no clean drinking water. People are trying to drink seawater because there's no clean drinking water being allowed in. Israel controls the electricity. They control the water. They control the, ba the food supply. Israel controls the basics of life so that people in Gaza are really living in and have been living in 
uh, an open air prison for the last 16 years, not to mention the occupation of the last 75 years. Thanks for watching this video and thanks Sue for joining us today. Um, if you do like the work that we do, please make sure to become a Green F supporter. Um, it's essential for us to carry out our work. Um, you can find out more information at greenleft.org.au support.